Uh, when I structure a house model, I figured it would be worth showing a little bit about how I set up my layers and how I um, resolve complex roof lines like you see here in this um, preliminary model. This is a small home that I'm doing um, that I started just a little while ago. But um, I structure all of my models the same way in which um, very simple layer structure where I've got a foundation layer, first floor layer, second floor layer, and a roof layer. And each one just deals with visibility roof off or second floor off or foundation off and so on. Um, it makes for a really nice simple way to navigate the model when you have to get inside any of the floor levels. Also makes it very easy to show clients, for instance, taking the roof off to look at a plan is very simple. Um, in dealing with roofs like this, um, one thing that I've learned is to keep each roof plane as its own isolated group. So you'll see every plane separated. The reason for doing this is it makes it much easier to move these roof lines about each other if you should change plate lines and also helps you to resolve them on the interiors. As you can see, this is a preliminary. You can see some of those roof lines still projecting through because this is still in a preliminary stage. Um, as it gets more refined, I like to clean those up because I do a lot of interior renderings and I don't like to see those roof lines go through. Um, as an example, on a more detailed project here, this is a big file. <clears throat> so in a much more detailed project where I have taken it further along, you'll see that a lot of the roof lines are cleaned up uh, specifically for the reasons of when I do interior elevations as well as um, sections and interior renderings so that when you're in a room, I'll just pop into one of these rooms right here. and look around, you can see that the roof lines are resolved and ready for rendering within every given space. And this one being fairly complex, you can see how important it is to keep those geometries of the roof lines separate so that when you don't move one, you don't start to stretch or interact with any of the other roof lines. And when you get to homes that have this many different roof lines, sorry, I keep popping up into a roof plane, um, it really helps keep everything clean in the model. Um, if I highlight some of these right here, in this instance, what I have is the entire roof is grouped as one group under layer roof. I've changed things a little how I used to do, but now if I edit that group, all of these individual roof planes are their own group. So it makes editing very quick and easy without worrying about affecting other roof geometry. I don't do this on the floor plans and the floor plans I keep the, I'll shut the roof off. I keep the entire roof or floor for a particular floor in a single group. So there's the second floor, the main floor. And within that group, the walls are just walls that resolve themselves against the roof plane. Um, and then it's composed of several elements, which obviously are components, windows, doors, trim, cabinets, and so forth, are all their own individual components. I keep furniture on a group so that I can shut that off for construction documents and leave that on only for uh, showing the client or doing rendering work. So that's about it.